news this afternoon then, Dan, that you're joining Bath City on loan for a month. Are you pleased to be heading out to get some game time? Yeah, I can't wait. Um, starting tomorrow with St Albans. Should be a good experience to get some valuable game time under my belt. Yeah. Especially at a decent level as well. Yeah, you've had to be patient here. You've obviously played four times in, in the first team or four first team appearances. So it must be quite nice though to you know to be going out to be playing games, knowing that you're going to be getting ninety minutes under your belt. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Like it's all it's all well and good like learning here from training, but at the end of the day, you learn a lot more from playing games, and that's hopefully I'll get some more game understanding from that. And you have been playing games recently, haven't you? But on an international level, of course, you call up to the Antigua and Barbuda squad. Um, how was those two games in, over there in the Nations League? Yeah, no, it was a good experience over there as well against a strong guy on the side. First game we won 2 1, second we lost 5 1, but no, it was a decent experience on both parts, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, where does that leave you guys in the group now? Obviously, you had the one win and the one defeat. Where does it leave you moving yeah, forward? Um, so we're joint second with Guyana. So that leaves our last two games against Aruba and Jamaica. Whoever gets the most points will go through out of us too. So, yeah, it should be a good one. And those next games are in November. Are they pretty major games then for the Antigua and Barbuda team? Yeah, I think it'll be the first time that we've qualified to go towards the Gold Cup. So, yeah, it should be a, should, it's, it's big. It's big for us and hopefully we can get some good results and improve on our goal difference as well. You, you've had a few different international experiences now with the Antigua and Barbuda team. You know, even in the week that's just gone, the first game was played at Sir Vivian Richards Stadium, which of course is normally a cricket ground, I think, I'm right yeah. in saying. But the second game, I think, was played on a synthetic pitch in yeah. Guyana. Yeah. Is it hard suddenly having to adjust to all these different conditions, not just an opponent, but also the conditions you're playing in? Yeah, no, 100% like, when you go from here, like normal weather over in England, but over there you're playing at like 30 degree heat. And like, they, but to be fair, it's a lot slower tempo as well because of the heat, so it's hard to sustain high levels. But yeah, no. Even like, even just going from AstroTurf, and even the first first ground out was a cricket stadium. So like the middle of the pitch is like rock solid. So yeah, it's different conditions, but it's all well and good in the long run. I think most of the players are locally based with Antigua and Barbuda. You know, is it is it sort of strange for you to have travel all that way? And are you quite highly respected of being a player who plays in the English football system? Yeah, no. Um, normally, in in the past experiences, we've had seven or eight English boys, like a few Championship, League One, League Two players. But um, we've got a new manager now, so he's decided to go with more of the locals who some very good young players there. We had a few 16, 17 year olds that have been on trial over in England, actually, but just haven't got their visas at the moment. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's looking good. And physically, obviously, the air miles, the having to come back in midweek and the potential jet lag. How has that been for you, you know, getting back into training and adjusting back to English football again? To, nah, to be fair, I've been all right, to be fair. I've caught up on a bit of sleep, but looking forward to tomorrow. My first game for Bath, so hopefully get a win there.